Hi, today we are going to talk about inequalities. You know that inequalities is like an equation, but instead of equal sign, we will put less than or greater than, or sometimes we put less than or equal, or greater than or equal, instead of the inequality sign. This is called inequality. Inequality is the same like equations, but you have to multiply, when you multiply or divide by negative quantity, then you have to flip inequality sign. Let's see the examples. In example number one, he said x plus 6 less than 8. Less than 8. So you have as equation, you have to remove x by adding negative 6 here and negative 6 here to remove the numbers. So x will be less than 8 minus 6 equals 2. Let's see how to graph the, uh, this inequality or the graph the solution of this inequality in the number line. We have to go at 2. And when you see inequality sign like this, it's less than no equal. So you, you will go at 2, then make open circle like this. Then C. Then C. X less than 2, so you have to go left. Less than, you have to go left. If it's right, uh, uh, if it's greater than, you have to go right. Then let's go to example number 2. But before we go to example number 2, you have brackets at the right of the board then you have to solve you stop the video and you have to solve this example in number two three x plus six less than four x here we have x on both sides and both on both sides then we have to remove one of them then we have three x and four x let's cancel three x by adding negative three x here and negative three x here. here will be six less than 4x minus 3x equals x. So we can read it as 6 less than x or x greater than x. Let's represent it on number line where is 6. We have to make open circle, not, not, not closed circle. Open circle. Then x greater than 6 and you have to go excellent right. Then make an arrow means that you are greater than 6. In example number 3. We have negative 11y minus 13 greater than or equal 42. Forget about the sign right now and then we need to cancel the number from here, negative 13, so we have to add positive 13. Then now we will have negative 11y greater than or equal 42 plus 13, 2 plus 3, 5, and 5. It will, it will be 55. But in the next step, we have to go to, to do over negative 11, over negative 11. But take care here, because when you multiply or divide by a negative, then you have right to flip the inequality sign, and it means it's greater than will be less than or equal, and then this will be y. 55 divided negative 11 will be negative 5. And how to repre represent this? y less than or equal negative 5 you will go at negative 5 here negative 5 is and make a closed circle because we have less than or equal it's gonna be closed and then y is less than so we have to go left not right excellent let's go to number four but don't forget to solve the examples the practice examples and you will find the answers at the end of the video of the video so you have to stop the video and start to solve and then at the end of the video, you will find the answer. Let's go 4 to 3b. We have distributive property. Then we have to make 4 times 3b will be 12b. And 4 times negative 5 will be negative 20. Then plus 7. Then greater than or equal 8b plus 3. Then let's, let's make 12b minus 20 plus 7. 20, minus 20 plus 7 will be negative 13. And then... This is 12b and greater than or equal 8b plus 3. So let's cancel one of the b's. We have 8b and 12b. It's better to remove 8b by adding negative 8b. Both sides, negative 8b. Then the answer here will be 4b minus 13 greater than or equal 3. Then we have, yes, to add positive 3 here. And positive 3 here then we have 4b greater than or equal 3 plus 13 equals 16 then b and o over 4 over 4 
mv will be greater than or equal 4 this is the final answer how to graph it's very easy yes we have to go to 4 then make it's greater than or equal so we have to make closed circle like this and be greater than 4 then we have to go right it's okay in example number 5 and 6, we have something called compound inequalities. Compound inequality, is, it's, it's double inequality. We have two inequality signs, like here, like here. Either and or or. We have, let's, let's solve the first one. We have three sides. One, two, three. Left. So we start from the middle. We have x minus 3. Then we have to cancel negative 3 by adding positive 3. But for each side. Negative 2 plus, plus 3 is 1, and keep the sign as it is. x minus 3, negative 3, and positive 3 will go together. It will be x, 4 plus 3 is 7, and it's x greater than or equal 1 and less than 7. I'll show you how to graph it. We have to go at 1, at positive 1, and make closed circle because it's less than or equal, greater than or equal. So at 1, we'll make closed circle. Then we go at 7. And make yes open circle like this then match them okay it's okay this is the solution let's go to number six number six we have or we deal with them as two inequalities two different inequalities so we have the first one negative 2m plus 7 less than or equal 13 then negative 2m plus 7 we have to do minus 7 minus 7 then negative 2m will be less than or equal 13 minus 7 equals 6 and now take care the next step is to make it over negative 2 over negative 2 and when you multiply or divide by negative 2 then you have to yes yes to flip the inequality sign and this will be m 6 over negative 2 equals 3 and then let's go if you need to solve to graph but solve the other ones and graph it graph them together then we have to cancel 12 by adding negative 12, negative 12. Then 5m will be less than negative 18 minus 12 equal negative 30. Here we will make divided 5. Take care, it's positive. And divided 5, you it will be m less than negative 30 over 5 will be negative 6. Then let's graph the solution. We have to start with m greater than or equal negative 3 negative 3 because 6 over negative 2 equal negative 3 and negative 3 then we will go at negative 3 and make close the circle at negative 3 then m greater than or equal negative 3 we will go right yes and the other one m less than negative 6 we will go at negative 6 and make open circle then go left because less than so don't forget to see the answers at the end of the video Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.